Bungle by my people now welcome to this channel where we give now Bungle updates on waiting they happen for Biafra territory. As we don't know, say the zoo government, both the one for Lagos State and the federal one, they just did there to make sure say Indibu life for different part of the zoo, they frustrated. Now why would they tell every Indibus stop to build house for any part of the zoo? Go more quick develop our place. Now the plan be that. It go better for us pass me they come we can't build structure down they can't use their buddhas and buddhas things i won't make not listen to mazi rafael they should try to make sure that this kind of thing doesn't happen by them investing in their own in their own land what can i say to you? see let me tell you the destruction of evil properties especially those ones whose party whose properties are at ibejileki marked demolition is a welcome development ask me why you both should be thinking now, home going. Going down south is to, to do what? To invest in their lands. And listen to me, building house at Leki, Ibejuleki, is Ibejuleki Igbo land? Is southwest Igbo land? The money, the properties you erect, you, you erect here, you pay land use to Lagos state government. While the southeastern government there are what? Languishing in lack of what? Fund taxations. Who is paying taxes in the southeast? Nobody. How many of us that have investment in the southeast? How many are paying land use? You are paying billions, trillions of naira land use to Lagos State Government. Still, the Lagos State Government don't appreciate you. The public office holders here are your enemies. You are still investing it here. So let me tell you, if I could advise Iboma, if Sam Wolu demolishes building, take it in good faith. What it signifies is what? A significant home going of the Igbos. That is the beginning of Iboma, what? Realizing or realization of himself. Why are you building estates in Ibejuleki, estates in Odo, Adodo, Ablodo, estates at Ajawo? At the end of the day, they will just mark it demolition, and there's nothing you could do about it. Do you know how many building, modern building, I mean, modern duplexes that were marked demolition at the axis of Ablodo and the Ajawo Estate area of Airport Road? They were all owned by the Igbos. And you are telling me, what do you want me to say? To go and fight Samuelu? He is doing his normal business because he's embittered over what Igbos did. During the gubernatorial election of last year, he was defeated by double, Vivo, Roots. Samuel was beaten up by that young man because Samuel is not doing anything here other than embezzling money and keep for his political godfather. That's why he's not happy with Vivo's. We are the one that came out in mass and voted for Roots. So the destruction of Igbo land, Igbo man's landed property or erected structures is the beginning of Igbo man's realization of the accurate importance of investing, investing, doing investment in the southeastern Nigeria. If you ask me, I will tell the Igbos, the properties owners in Lagos State, not to go to court. If you go to court, whoa, betide you. You are going to lose. Which court are you going to? Is it Southwest Court? Are you taking them to uh, Abuja? Which court do you want to go and contend with Lagos State Government? You can't contest it anywhere. This is Southwest. This is their, le their what? Legal system, their justice, their way of life, their government, their culture, and their tradition. They hate you as an Igbo man. You end do nothing. You will never get anything like justice if you contest it in the court of law. One, they are accusing you that you did not go through the normal process processes before securing parcels of land here. Most of the points they are coming out, they are coming up with, is that you did not get your certificate of occupancy. And by the way, I want to tell you something that is so phenomenal in the southwest here. Anytime government has map out, mark out, or map out a place. For demolition in the next 10 years, maybe they want to build shop rides, motor parks, estate there. The Yoruba man will be scouting. 
touting for prospective buyers. And who are these pro prospective buyers? The prospects are mostly the Igbos. Because they are unsuspecting, unsuspicious of what will be of that particular portion of land in the next 10 years. The Yoruba man that has the wind up, that known that this place in the next 10 years they will demolish it. They will lure the Igbos and collect their money and sell the property. The properties. So that's why I'm trying to advise the Igbos don't buy again, no. Don't buy in Ogun State, don't buy in Ondo State. Go and buy land in Enugu, buy land in Anambra, buy land in Abia. Develop people land, take your investment home. These people here, they don't like you. They would like to siphon you, scam you, and do what? Trash you. In the bin, you're buying land, after, after buying lands, you keep on, you start paying land use. If you buy in the east, pay land use to eastern government. That state, that region we develop. I not listening to me. So let me tell you, I don't I don't think I will say anything bad against Lagos State government. They are systematically revenging, paying back to Igbo man what actually transpired during last year election when the Igbos came out in mass and voted against APC. So emotionally, they are using that tactics to pay the Igbos back. My advice is, Igbo man, go home, buy land in the southeast, build houses there, bring investment to Abia, where we have 24 hours lights. Go to Paracot, buy land, go to Yo, Calabar, buy land, live southwest. There is Bayelsa there. Bayelsa is still untapped, undeveloped. If you look at the level of Bayelsa state's development is on the list, on the bottom table. No area of that state has been touched in terms of social infrastructural amenities. So you should go to Bayelsa, buy land, build, build industries, build production industries. They needed development in Bayelsa. Leave Lagos alone. Lagos has developed. You are just putting yourself into more trouble buying land in Odo, in Ekiti, in Ogun State, at Ibejileki, at Egbeda. The more you catch the more you do that, the more hate and the abhorrence you receive from the people of this land. But, but do you not think that um, the Lagos government should be losing out in terms of generating taxes and um, from this um, from the Igbos? Uh, if Igbos left here for us, Lagos state government they will lose much much money, and that serves them good because when they are already here, Lagos state government don't appreciate them, they extort from them. Most of their agencies, agents, sorry, go to those Igbos, unsuspicious Igbos. Lure them into buying lands on a place mapped for future development or government you know, agencies to be situated there. Are you listening to me? So that's why if Igbo goes, I think Lagos will feel, feel it, the absence of Igbo man. And I think that is good for Samuel and cohort. It might not happen now. It might happen another time. But Igbo should start thinking home going. Invest in Igbo land. Leave Lagos alone. Well, I'm not sure I'm not sure they really care because so as long as they, they keep on winning elections, I'm not sure they really care of um, the Igbos um, uh, relocating back to, to the east. Uh, if you decide to stay Lagos now, you won't palabra with us because Mazina Bikano, if you now remember in those broadcasts, it talk and say if you Build out of Lagos outside the uh, in the Buyafa land for Lagos for any south 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 west. The plan has made the government to destroy the property over time, any including your businesses. Uh, we don't see and say immediately after the zoological election, they start to do them and they're not going to stop because, see, the government of Lagos State don't plan to demolish more places. That time for Indi was to wake up and go develop Biafra land. For this matter, I'm going to rest my case now. Thank you.